Hey, how's it going guys? Captain Kiba here and welcome to another reaction video. This one's kind of special. Uh, it's, it's a reaction to a theory by one of my subscribers, uh, Mornville. Every time I live stream, he tells me that he's working on this epic theory about the Gravedigger and he wanted me to react to it. So uh, here I am. Uh, I, I believe what he's going to be talking about is whether the Gravedigger is Zeus. That's the only mystery. The only thing we can call a mystery surrounding the Gravedigger. Uh, he says he's got proof that it's not him. So I, I want to see I, I want to see what he's got, okay? Because he he's been asking me to re, to uh, re react to this. So uh, here we go. <laughs> Good, my boy. Good. Who are you? I am the ass of Zeus. <laughs> I will be there to help. I do not need your help, Zeus. I am the king of Olympus. <laughs> Classic Eddie, uh, uh, Sesti style of editing. Love it. The Gravedigger has been a mysterious figure throughout the God of War community. Everyone believes it is Zeus because Ghost of Sparta confirms it in the combat arena. But what if I tell you, you are all wrong. Even Captain Cuba, the most- How dare you! How dare you, you peace dumb Popular God of War YouTuber who makes theories around it got this wrong. I've discovered some things and noticed details that many of you missed, perhaps because you were too distracted imagining Aphrodite beside you. <laughs> so let's begin. What fools? What? What fools? Love that cutscene. You, the biggest fool of all, Kratos. The Grave Digger first appeared in God of War 1, raising questions about his role and identity. There was nothing about him in God of War 2, Chains of Olympus, and God of War 3, only to return in Ghost of Sparta. His identity remained unknown until players unlocked the Temple of Zeus. Here, after spending all your red orbs, a ladder comes out. You climb the statue of Zeus and pull a lever, after- I gotta say, man, I, I love these edits, okay? They're, they're pretty funny. <laughs> to which you unlock an underground passage. You go underground, find the Grave Digger's shovel, and unlock him in the combat arena. This led everyone to believe that the Grave Digger was Zeus. But what if I tell you, Zeus is not the Grave Digger? I know it sounds confusing, but stick with me, it will all make sense. Since I was 5 years old, I was playing God of War Ghost of Sparta in my PSP from that moment to this very day, and I love the game. Freaking epic, that's why. I later got a PS3 in 2023, and it was my first time playing God of War 3. I had a PS2, but I didn't play God of War 1 as much on it. For some very obvious reasons, I didn't even pay attention to the game. But then I played it on my PS3 again, and loved the game, replaying it several times. But I started to notice something while I was about to rescue the Oracle. The Grave Digger looked very strange. So I went on YouTube and searched for the Grave Digger in Ghost of Sparta, and that's when I noticed something that makes me believe Zeus might not be the Grave Digger. Okay. Now you might be wondering, what did I notice that none of you or even Captain Cuba noticed? I see. Look at him closely. Notice anything. He has fingers growing out of his head. Yes, two literal fingers. In Ghost of Sparta, he doesn't have those fingers on his head. Fingers. Notice anything. He has fingers growing out of his head. Yes, two literal fingers. Are they fingers? I don't know why. I always thought it was just like two like like strands of like a, a braid or something, but because it was PlayStation 2 graphics, but I can see why that can be why that can be seen as a finger. Like I can kind of see a fingernail here. And of course of course this is the you know the knuckle. Uh so not the knuckle, I mean just the, the joint. <laughs> but uh I'm not sure. In Ghost of Sparta, he doesn't have those fingers on his head. Now, this might be just a design choice, but notice one more thing. The Grave Digger in God of War 1 is blind in his left eye, but in Ghost of Sparta, he's blind in the right eye. And mm. I swear I haven't flipped the images, you can search it up mm. on YouTube. Also, one more thing I noticed while making this video. The Grave Digger has a scar in his eye in Ghost of Sparta but doesn't in God of War 1. Now, but is this the is this the actual or is this the actual concept art of the the Grave Digger in God of War One? 
because I believe this this was made by someone else on a art station or something. It's a fan made recreation of the Grave Digger, right? But you are right that I, I did. I never noticed that the eyes were different and the uh, he had a scar on his face. That that isn't. I never noticed you that. Might be flabbergasted by this. How did nobody notice this before? Because of these differences, I believe there's not just one Grave Digger, but two. The Grave Digger of Ghost of Sparta is Zeus, but the Grave Digger of God of War 1 is someone else. This again brings up the mystery, who is the Grave Digger of God of War 1? But before that, <laughs> let's compare the two. You can easily notice how he acts nicer towards Kratos in God of War 1 but mocks him in Ghost of Sparta. Good, my boy, good. Athena has chosen wisely. I knew it was so. Who are you? So, you have the blades, the skin as pale as the moon. You are the one indeed. Perhaps Athens will survive at that. <laughs> but be careful. Don't want you dying before I'm done with this grave. The grave? In the middle of a battle? Who will occupy it, old man? You will, my son. Oh, I've got a lot of digging to do indeed. All will be revealed in good time. And when all appears to be lost, Kratos, I will be there to help. This sudden change in behavior indicates that the gravedigger of God of War 1 is someone with kind intentions towards Kratos, while Zeus, who is the gravedigger of Ghost of Sparta, is the opposite. Fool of all, Kratos. The ghost of Sparta. The slayer of Ares. And now, the destroyer of Atlantis. You should take heed, Spartan. The destruction of Poseidon's kingdom will. Sorry, I'm quiet because I'm paying attention, my bad. <laughs> I care little for the gods. And yet you walk beside them. Whenever I have some say, I'll just stop the video. You were given the honor to walk among the gods, and yet you spit on it like it was dirt. And Ghost Sparta just has such good cutscenes. Ah, yes, the other one. Try if you must, but you will not succeed. You will never find him. And in the wake of your destruction, you have sunk the only path to your salvation. This is all that awaits you at the end of your journey. Not before I find Demos. Be wise, my son, and turn back now. Do not seek the domain of death. He <laughs> tries to seem nice by laughing. <laughs> so who is the grave digger of God of War 1, you may ask? It is... Atreus. Just kidding, <laughs> it's not Atreus. But I believe it is Apollo. Why do I believe that, you may wonder. Well, I think Apollo is just like Orcos from God of War, Ascension. He's seen how the gods have treated Kratos and other mortals and decided to side with Kratos to overthrow Zeus and bring peace to mankind. But Zeus found out about Apollo, killed him, and took the form of the gravedigger to stop Kratos when he heard that he is looking for the supposed marked warrior, Deimos. So, is Apollo just dead Wait, like let me go back over because I was thinking about something else, because I, I also uploaded a, an Apollo theory, and it's... In a way, I'm not saying you're copying me or anything, I'm just saying it's similar, I'm, I'm thinking, what did I say in that theory? I, I don't remember if I said that... Apollo dies by Zeus. I think in the mythology himself, he does get expelled by it because uh, his son Asclepius, I believe, was healing, uh, was preventing people from dying. So Zeus was like, no, Asclepius, he killed them. Then Apollo, uh, he fought back. And then that's when Zeus took away his powers, I believe. That's what I said in my in my video. I'm pretty sure. My memory's kind of crappy, but let's keep going. Brave digger to stop Kratos when he heard he decided to side with Kratos to overthrow Zeus and bring peace to mankind. But Zeus found out about Apollo, killed him, and took the form of the grave digger to stop Kratos when he heard that he is looking for the supposed marked warrior, Deimos. So, is Apollo just dead like that? 
I have another theory that might make sense. Now, watch this cutscene. Kratos! It's getting close! I told you, I cannot help you. But you're the only one who can. I know it. I trust you. You shouldn't. Pandora was imprisoned in the labyrinth for a long time, but how does she know so much about Kratos and that he will save her? I think after Zeus killed Apollo, Apollo was sent to a higher plane of existence, just like <laughs> Athena. He talked to Pandora and told her that an ash-covered warrior named John Kratos would come to her aid. I'm not sure, but this is all I came up with. Mm. There might be more to this theory, but I haven't given it much thought yet, because I already have a headache. Captain Cuba, how do you do this every week? <laughs> this is the end of the video. I have proven to Yal that there are two grave diggers. One is Zeus, and the other, I suppose, is Apollo, or someone else completely, like Atreus. With this long and probably not so boring video, I have hopefully not wasted your time. I'll see you in another one. Drop your theories in the comments section about what you think. Ta-ta, bye-bye. Okay, so... That's the end, right? There's nothing else? Yeah. Uh, I just saw Odin and Greece right there, you can't see, but I saw it. Um... So I guess I, I do, in all honesty, like this is, it is pretty cool that you were able to notice this. I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'll be honest, I'm not convinced about this. I'm not sure those are fingers. I can see why you can say they are. But you, you kind of mentioned that and you didn't really bring back why they were there. Like, it, it, it would have been cool if you were like, oh, and guess who has fingers sticking out of his head? Apollo, like something like that. Like, I hope it would have come back. But I get what you're saying. You were just using it to... Um, make sure to, that people knew that this it was a different Zeus, right? A, a different great thing. My bad. Wall, one is blind in his left eye. But Th that is what I find more convincing. Like the uh, the eye, I never noticed that because again, when you look at them side by side, you just kind of like go like that's the grave digger. Like by a quick glance. Sorry, I'm just uh, Where is he? Yeah, it's just it's the grave digger. Like you don't even have to think too much about it. That's why. I never noticed because from the outline, it's just a great thing, right? But I, it is interesting that his eye did change. Just this alone is pretty cool. I never noticed that. I do think the change in attitude between God of War 1 and Ghost of Sparta has to do uh, because Kratos already entered uh, Olympus and he was already causing a lot of destruction. In fact, I know we can't say that the novels are completely canon. They are what, they, what we would call secondary canon because they have things that don't really align themselves well with the games, right? But one of those, one of the things that they do say, I believe, in the God of War two novel, is that I think it's Hades. He brings it up to Zeus while they're on Olympus, and he's like, "Someone helped Kratos escape the underworld, a grave digger, right?" And in the novel itself, it's kind of implied that it was him. I think Athena is and knows it, right? So it's one of those things that if Santa Monica wanted to, like, there's a small plot hole here that they could take advantage of if they wanted to, right? Because it is true that. The eyes are wrong, okay? That that is a fact. And he also has I keep like messing this up, huh? And the uh and the eye also has the scar, which it is interesting. I wonder why they decided to make this change. I understand why they changed uh God of War one Zeus to God of War two Zeus, but the change in Grave Digger wasn't that big. For the most part, it remained the same. So I'm not really sure why. Corey and Ghost of Sparta was like, no, we need to have the eye on the other side, <laughs> the, the, the blind eye on the other side. I don't know why that was important, right? Yeah, I, I remain unconvinced because the, we just don't have a lot of information about Apollo. It's only the fact that he's gone, like we don't see him ever in the Greek pantheon. So, uh, yeah, it could be something like that. A again, like this, this theory falls into the category of like, if Santa Monica wanted to, they could do something with this little plot hole, right? But will they? I, I think it's best if we take the the accepted answer by the community <laughs> that seems biased you know <laughs> take my answer people it's not just mine i think it's something that just we kind of see as like oh it's just a difference in in art style they just decided to change the eye right but i, I still think the grave digger is Zeus. i have no other reason to believe otherwise it is cool it is cool that you found the eye detail i did notice that in the fingers I'm gonna have to bring it up to uh, someone at Santa Monica, like on Twitter, because I'm like, that's interesting. Are those fingers? I never thought about it. I thought I thought it was just kind of like braids, you know, like really tied up old hair, right? But uh, yeah, good video. I think I think it's pretty good. It's pretty entertaining. It kept me like watching throughout, and I think that's a 
that's really good it's very commendable uh it's it's also got some interesting things that we can discuss but uh yeah let me know guys what you think and of course if you liked it or didn't like it go to his video and comment on it interact with him he's the one that came up with it so uh, i'm gonna leave his the, the link for the video in the description below or pin in the comment i'm not sure but yeah mornville thank you so much for you know asking me to review to not review to react to this it's i, I thought it was very entertaining so uh I hope you continue to do more videos, man. I, 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 you could be awesome at this, okay? All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. And until then, remember, go forth in the name of Olympus.